So once you turn on your TV, you've got many things that you can do. You can click on using your remote, your home button is here, your back button is here, play and pause, volume up and down, okay, channels up and down. You've got default buttons that you can go into directly to Netflix, Prime, Video, and also the web. So by clicking, for example, the internet, you'll go straight to the internet. You go back to home, this is where you are. Okay, from the home, you can navigate with this, going left, you can choose anything, and you'll come back to a default. So the remote control is easy to use. It's the current base of apps that you have. When you click on home button, everything pops up. Scroll to the app button, which is the four buttons there. Click in on it. Choose one of it that you want. Let's say I want Facebook Watch. Press on Facebook Watch. It will give you the option to install. So now you see the white color, the word install. Click on it. And that would install it. Once it's finished installing, you have the op option for opening it. All right. Or you can add to home. Now, if you add to home, this is what happens. This Facebook watch icon will go to the home screen. There you go. So now it, it gives you an option. Where do you want to place Facebook watch? If you watch Facebook videos a lot, you want it right up front. So choose the position that you want it to be in. Put it there, click OK, and there you go, that's in. Once you sign up, sign in with your Facebook account and your login details, you'll be able to watch all your Facebook videos, all your YouTube videos.